Oh, I was planning on saving Latch. Simon, I'll still save. I do have a bionic arm, actually. I just don't have a doctor I trust to perform surgeries with. But I have a bionic arm and a bionic eye laying here in storage with just absolutely no one I trust to use it. All right, so I did call in some slavers. Hopefully I can buy some people. Buy some slaves, add to my numbers. That's the hope. All right, so let's get this area looking a little less bloody, a little nicer. Go from awful to decent or something close. All right, so we're at mediocre. Uh, that'll have to do. Tsunami, I'm just gonna have, keep plugging away at this. But I think what I'm gonna do is actually unsuspend this quickly and butcher that thrumbo before it rots. And there will be some extra meat that gets spoiled here because I won't have room for it, but that hopefully I can sell to Someone, I don't know, a Balkwitz trader or something. Alright, so that just about filled up the area. Kyler Baylor here, I'm going to send to go trade with the slaver, who hopefully has brought some good slaves with him. I am really hurting for, uh, for people here. Um... So we've got Stars the Sailor, who is good at the basic stuff. Uh, I think I'll buy, just because I need someone. And Dinosaur the Dead, who's an ugly neurotic. Yeah, I, I'll buy just Stars, thank you. Um, see if I can't sell them anything, which I can, which is good. I'm just carefully going through the list here. All these broken armor vests they can keep a bunch of these personal shields I'll keep the nicest one and all these dead people helmets although they'd be nice uh, call it good so now I have stars here so guess what uh, Amy you are getting a character here you're gonna be Amy instead of caterpillar I do have stars so, stars, you can't do skilled work, which is fine, because you can do everything else. Oh, you are a new warden, too. You get a passion for it, and a passion for animals. Uh, you're not even bad at hunting, so... And plant cutting, and art. Alright, it's goodbye, I suppose. Yeah, as the story goes, you might get to die. I have kept some people alive, let's be honest. So Stars is not a very good shooter, but I'm going to give her a sniper rifle anyway, because I have lots of sniper rifles. I'm like the Oprah of sniper rifles. Everyone gets a sniper rifle. Alright, so at this point, because of the toxic fallout... Um, Animals are dying randomly and exploding, so that's fun. I also need a bedroom for stars. Uh, I don't have one at the moment, which is a wee bit problematic, but I can give her a really crappy one. I just need to haul all this slag out of it. Oh, but she can't construct. That's right. That's fine. Tsunami can. So first, Tsunami, haul these meals away. Got some thrombo fur. All right, and make that bed. All right, so that room was originally for someone who liked ugly rooms. That obviously is not the case now, so I'll have to remedy that sooner or later. The base is covered in blood, like every room. I don't understand how all the rooms got blood in it, to be honest. it I did have some pre pretty crazy raids. 
And I think at one point Tsunami was like bleeding out, but decided to go play chess. Um, crazy time. It was a crazy time. And there's corpses and blood. This whole X dining room is one big carpeted, nasty, bloody mess. I mean, really, truly, like it was. It was, yeah. It, it, the whole world went to shit. To be honest. All right, I'm not going to bother replacing the AC that was in here. I'm just going to build walls. Uh, I think what I'm going to do initially is have stars here do nothing but a lot of cleaning up when she's up. She's trying to recruit prisoners. I guess I'll let her do that first and then just tidy up around the base. There's a hell of a lot of tidying to do. Like a year's worth of cleaning. Uh, well, after what happened, a double wall wouldn't have changed that at all. They had a triple rocket launcher that they shot at me, not my walls. Uh, I would like to double wall it, but um, that wouldn't have stopped what happened at all, sadly. I could have played it a little bit safer, but, you know, fast and loose is fun sometimes. All right, let's uh, cremate some more bodies. So, Amy, you're on this beautiful task of cremation. Now, originally, I was feeding my pets these bodies here, but as you can see, some of them have started rotting, and I no longer have pets. They all died. Um, so I don't need those bodies there anymore, clearly. So I can get rid of them. But I just have, like, an almost insurmountable amount of sort of labor of cleanup and work to do here. It's It's... It's a little daunting, to be honest. Um, oh, tribes people. Yeah, so, like, the last raid squished me into the ground. So, what do they do? They just keep sending more raids. I love it. Alright, you don't need to firefight this at all. Like, it's raining, and I don't care. It's not going to burn my granite walls. So... Go do something more productive. All right. Uh, before this raid hits me, I do have some turrets that are dangerously damaged. So I want to get them all repaired up and nice. All right. Flick the turrets on. Sure, it's engaged. Fuck all these auto doors on too. Uh, how close are they? They are getting close, so I think it's time that you women, I have a tribe of all women now, man the walls, or women the walls. Where's my manners? Women the walls. Uh, making sure that you all have good weapons. First. Now I'm waiting here to shoot people, I su suppose. And they've sent four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And they sent twenty-one, twenty-two people to attack my three. I like my odds. There's always more bloodshed. This is like. Raid after raid after raid. Alright, are you any good? A uh, nervous jogger? Man, eh, not so much. Oh, trying the traps, huh? Good luck there. Oh, sorry, Bat. But you lost 
Oh, actually, the traps didn't hurt you. I take that back. But stars will. Stars will kill you. Good job, stars. I'm glad I bought you. Alright, so they're fleeing. And I do have some potential prisoners. One I really like. 80-year-old. But not... Doesn't have dementia. So that counts for something. Alright, so given that we are expanding our prisoner business here, I don't really have beds for them yet. But let's capture Menino or whatever. And let's see about Elk. Is Elk any good? Is Elk worth punching to out? Bloodlust, proslophobe. Uh, what about your skills? With no really helpful passions other than plants. Whoa, 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 watch the flaringly fire, man. Watch it. Yep, yeah, I'm going to try to get Elk, too. What about Fox here? Oh, Steadfast Proslophobe. Well, my hands are a little full, but let's see what Stars can do. What about her? Iron Wheel, Bloodlust, very neurotic. Neurotic Psychopath. So I'm going to also try to get Fox here as well. But he's going to have to survive some gunfire. Go after him. Go, Stars, go. Alright, so I punched Elk to death. That doesn't help. Uh, I don't think I'm going to catch up to Fox to punch him, so I'm going to try to shoot him. But chances are I'll miss, and that'll be that. Yep, that will be that indeed. So I've checked these other two prisoners. I don't want them. No one does. They're... A basket of deplorables, right? Non-Americans might not get that reference, but, uh... Yeah, it was funny, so you can pretend to laugh. Alright, so Menino here needs some medical attention from Stars, Amy? From Stars, I guess, because Amy's asleep. Well, some of my smoke leaves are rotting away, but I just don't have the capacity to really deal with that. But what I can do is make a very, very nice bed here for Menino. Menino. Gotta practice saying that. Hey, everybody. Showing up in the chat. Lighting up my chat next to me. So one thing I could do to get people nice and happy initially is to try to get um, my dining room cleaned up. So that's top of my things to do list. And maybe put my solar panel back. That wouldn't hurt either, either, or, nor. Tsunami, you are still alive here. You're a little bit punched right now, but still alive. In fact, Tsunami, you were pretty instrumental in last stream in rescuing everyone. You were the last person standing in a sea of blood and fire, and you came out of that horrible crucible uh, more or less unharmed, actually. So, well done. Uh, I probably don't need all these turrets on anymore. So, let's fix that. Alright, so Stars here is slowly cleaning up, but I think what I'm going to do with her is tell her to haul for now and not clean. Because I am going to have some rotten bodies around here pretty soon. Um that I will need to deal with. So I'm going to tell her to uh, start cremating them all.
All right, so everyone... All right, so Stars is unhappily naked. She's missing some pants, looks like. Um, and I do have a tailor, Tsunami. So how about we go make some pants? Miss Tsunami. I don't know what the material is going to be. I guess I'll find out. Maybe cloth. Maybe muffler wool. Warm pants. All right. So now these bodies here are getting a little corpsified. Getting a little gross. People not so happy having to work around and near them. I'm trying to clean them up as fast as I can. There's certainly a lot of them. The game's been sending me raid after raid after raid. All right, stars. I do believe pants were just crafted for you somewhere. Here we are, here we are. Instead of you being naked and angry, put them on. But I'm going to give Stars a little break here. She is not so happy with her current scenario, situation, whatever. So Coco, my constructor, is now uh, laid up. And I don't really have anyone good at medicine to fix that situation. Um, I can call those slavers again, see if I can't buy a medicine slave. That is maybe how I'm going to go about this. So let's see about that. Let's call the slavers again. Request a slaver caravan. I certainly have a lot of silver. I just don't have uh, people. So I'll get the silver put away in the stockpile in case a uh, passing ship flies by that I can trade with. That wouldn't hurt. Alright, so this zone I'm just going to let go feral. I have bigger, better things to do than make more cloth. Um, or actually, you know what I could do? Yeah, I changed my mind. I take that back. I immediately take that back. A growing zone. A very large growing zone. Oh, is this gravel? Yeah, screw that. Not growing in gravel. Uh, let's delete some of the gravel here. Let's figure out where all the gravel is and get rid of it. It's not gravel here or there, but I'm just going to delete that too. Alright, so this sized growing zone. A little bit larger. Oh, it's gravel here too. Jesus! Gravel everywhere! Uh, and put in some Devil Strand. Because why not? Takes a long time. Might as well set that up. Alright, Amy, start cremating some more. So Tsunami's setting up this uh, Devil Strand farm. Very nice. Stars is trying to recruit some extra people with a social of five. She's passionate about it though, so she'll get better with time. Devil Strand might be ugly, but uh, you know, it's in a courtyard I no longer really care about. I'm not gonna worry about being ugly. Now what I do need to worry about is the toxic buildup that I potentially am getting here by working outdoors. But so far everyone is minor. Not much higher than that. But minor at what percent? That is I guess what I'm concerned about. So we're minor 29%, which is not so minor. 28%, and you should be lower, 26%. Now what I could do in the interim is expand my roof to include the pathways. That at least keeps them 
from being exposed unnecessarily for too, too long. When they're running around the base, running errands. 